All right, ladies and gentlemen, great to see you back again. We are back with the Vishnu Sassalam playlist and we are about to start a very interesting shloka like every other shloka again. And this is a very important shloka because this tells what we should do during the day. Okay, How should we uh, progressively uh, use this uh, every day, every morning as we get up actually early in the morning? So this tells us what we should do during the day, morning or later, evening, afternoon, forenoon, any noon, <laughs> or before sleeping or after getting up, whatever it is, okay? So therefore, this is the eighth text and today is 8th of June when I'm recording this video. This is Eshame Sarva Dharmanam Dharmo Dhikatamo Mataha Yad bhaktya pundari kaksham stavai rachain nara sada. Archan nara sada. All right. So before this, we had discussed uh, Brahmanyam sarva dharmagyam loka nam kirti vardhanam loka natham mahadbhutam sarva bhuta bhavod bhavam. The translation was Lord Vishnu is the protector and the well wisher of all the Brahm Brahmanas. Aware of all principles of religion, the Lord who expands the glory of his devotees. The supreme monarch of all planetary systems, full of all opulences, and the original father of Brahma, Shiva, and all living entities. Okay. So in that we had seen a, a quote, a, a shloka by, quoted by Baldev Vidya Bhushan himself. Okay where it was described how the people were created. All right, so if you are new to this playlist and if you have no clue what's going on, then please watch the earlier videos okay, of this Vishnu Sastram playlist. Otherwise, you may be clueless what I'm discussing here. Okay, so what is the translation of this verse? Esha me sarva dharmana dharmo dikatamo mataha. I think that the best, who is this I? <laughs> I think, who is thinking here? Is it Vyasdev, is it Arjuna or Krishna who is thinking? Yes, you got it right. He is Bhishma Pitama himself. He is in uh, the last days of his life. Huh? And he is uh, speaking these things elaborately. Alright, so all respects and all glories to Bhishma Dev. I think that the best of all spiritual practices, spiritual activities is to continuously and devotedly worship lotus-eyed Lord Krishna by reciting prayers, glorifying him and describing his holy names. So now somebody may say that uh, Bhishma is saying, I think that best of all spiritual practices. So if you go uh, in any part of this world, especially in India, if you go to trains or not so much in flight, but if you are in train or you are walking or you are in the street or you go to towns, villages or even cities, you will, you will see people will always keep saying, Mere mutabik, mere anusar, according to me, in my knowledge, in my opinion, this is right, this is wrong, this is true, this is not true, this is done, this is not done. Okay. So here Vishma is also telling, I think that, okay. But the thing is, uh, there's a big difference between uh, what ordinary people think and what Bhishma thinks is right and wrong. Because ordinary people like you or me, <laughs> or maybe you and me, we have our preconceived notions. Okay, So we have had certain experiences in our life on basis of which we decide what is maybe right, what is maybe wrong. Now, there's nothing wrong with that but the problem is we may not have the right conclusion which is based on scriptures okay so sometimes uh, people they tell me that they have been eating meat from last 50 years okay? some elderly people 50 60 so they tell me koi problem nahi koi problem nahi koi dikkat nahi kha sakte no problem you can eat meat see i lived uh, 50 years by eating meat nothing happened to me okay so you can also eat so according to them, uh, eating meat is uh, may not be good, but it's not necessarily bad. Okay, so that is a subjective opinion. Now, does it match with the opinion of the scriptures? Definitely not. It is contrary because uh, meat eating is uh, not recommended in the scriptures because that uh, 
because they say that if you have not given life to somebody you cannot take life so you will be punished you will suffer consequences for that okay it's just like if you take somebody's money the police will catch you right or you try to beat somebody then the police will catch you so that that is how you understand that uh, we should be very careful when uh, we are listening to somebody okay it may be any, any anybody in fact whose books we are reading because most of the uh, things of this world the books and all this youtube and all this this is made of people's subjective opinions actually okay so therefore uh, we need to be very careful because whatever we give into our ears will go inside the brain okay they will go to our head actually and we will start functioning accordingly so if we keep uh, seeing things which agitate our mind then we will always be agitated uh, if we are seeing things which uh, which are not very good actually for our spiritual progress then that's very detrimental because they will pull us down and make us more and more animalistic so similarly here bhishma is telling i think okay now bhishma's position is different he is not a normal human being he is not a normal personality he is one of the 12 mahajans he is one of the great authorities of spiritual knowledge so whenever we have doubts on spirituality or or what is dharma what is good bad what is right wrong then we should always look at the lives of these 12 mahajans okay yamaraj tells this to his uh, king karas you know his servants the yamadutas in the 6th canto of shrimad bhagavatam swayam bho narada shambhu kumaro kapilo manu prahlado janako bhishmo balirvaya sakhi vayam so in that the word bhishma comes okay so these are 12 mahajans yamaraj says 11 mahajans and myself included in that my god he is telling he is also a mahajan <laughs> so yes only he can say like this or right? nobody else can say that yes i am also included in that so uh, these 12 personalities they are not 12 actually there are may, many because the kumaras are considered uh, one actually okay when i said kumaro which means there are four kumaras sons of brahma uh, but they are actually considered kumar means they are considered one okay although they are four so and then there are many great personalities who are not there in the list in this list so for example yudhishthir is not there draupadi is not there akunti is not there uh, arjun is not there okay ambarish is not there in this list but anyways these 12 personalities uh, are the authorities and bhishma is one of them okay so therefore uh, we should listen to what he thinks because his opinion is not some subjective opinion based on somebody's experience okay of so called 20 30 40 or even a thousand years okay so he is completely cognizant of what krishna wants and he is totally aware of all the scriptural principles and truths and that is why his opinion is very 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 crucial no compromise with that okay so therefore uh, we may not listen to others but we must listen to what bhishma dev is telling okay i think that the best of all spiritual practices is to continuously and devotedly worship yad bhaktya pundari kaaksham pundari pundari means uh, lotus aaksham means eyes okay so uh, lord vishnu's eyes are considered uh, like lotus okay lotus petals yad bhaktya pundari kaaksham stavair achchai nara sada okay is to continuously and devotedly worship lotus side lord krishna by reciting prayers and glorifying him by describing his holy names okay so that is the secret of what we should do during the day actually the best of all spiritual practices is to not do continuously and how you should do just officially just superficially just out of legality no devotedly worship lotus side lord krishna by reciting prayers glorifying him and by describing his holy names okay very beautiful translation ah, just a minute i will pause this video sorry for the interruption let's continue so there's a very interesting thing mentioned here later okay there's another shruti mantra which explains this actually okay in come in this commentary shri baldev vidyabhushan again the same person who we quoted in the previous shloka 
quotes the following verses from the Vedic literatures to describe the glories of chanting of Lord Krishna's holy names. So many times you will feel uh, that you are not productive during the day. Okay, because to be productive, you have to have focus actually. If you lack focus in life, then you will be looking at WhatsApp, Facebook, you will be gossiping or you will be doing so many things and you will not have focus. So then at the end of your day, you will feel that I am not able to achieve what uh, I always want to or I could not achieve what I thought I would have. Okay. So therefore, uh, it's very essential that we uh, do spiritual practices in the morning. Okay. So Bhishma Pitama is saying, uh, do it constantly with uh, devotion and recite prayers and describing his holy name. So we may not be able to do it every every moment, right? Because uh, people may be around us and we may not uh, <clears throat> get that opportunity. But at least in the morning, if we do this, okay, then you will see a radical transformation in your life. Okay. So when you get up in the morning, at least uh, keep aside half an hour. That means you get up half an hour early. That means you sleep half an hour early. Okay, No late nights, no late TV shows and all news and all the useless rubbish and garbage of this world. So just half an hour. <laughs> half an hour early you sleep, half an hour early you get up. Okay, And here, um, there is this uh, shloka which is men mentioned. Okay. Asya janana to nama chid vikanta mahatas te vishno sumatim bhaja mahe om tat sat. Oh Lord Vishnu, we worship you and we are fully conscious of the spiritual nature of your holy names. The Padma Puran, there's a very important verse from the Padma Puran. This is one of the most famous verses quoted in the scriptures, okay, by many, many, many acharyas, okay. So, you should try to uh, memorize this verse, okay? I mean, you don't have to mug up, but you can listen three, four times, then you will understand automatically. Nama chintamani krishnas chaitanya rasa vigraha purna shuddho nitya mukto bhinnatva amam amamino This means the, the holy name of Krishna is transcendentally blissful. Nama chintamani. Nama means uh, name. Chintamani, it is transcendental, okay. Krishna, which means the name of Krishna is transcendental. It bestows all spiritual benedictions, for it is Krishna himself, the reservoir of all pleasure. Okay? The meaning of the word Ram is the reservoir of all pleasure. Rama, Ramante iti Rama, they say. So, and the meaning of the word Krishna is all attractive, basically. So Krishna, the reservoir of all pleasure. Krishna's name is complete. Chaitanya rasa vigra. Chaitanya means conscious. That means, so suppose you are chanting uh, anybody's name. You know, that Then you have to understand that name and that person is different. So if you chant somebody's name, suppose you have a friend, his name is uh, Suresh. You keep chanting Suresh, Suresh, Suresh. But uh, if Suresh is not there, he cannot listen and he cannot appear, right? And Suresh, the name Suresh is different from the person. But for Krishna, it is not like that. Krishna's name and he himself is non-different, okay? Chaitanya, which means uh, it is conscious. The word Chaitanya means consciousness. So that means uh, Chaitanya means uh, the word of Krishna. Nama Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya means the word Krishna is actually the same as Krishna himself. So, uh, saying the word Krishna and uh, seeing Krishna and meeting Krishna is actually the same. If we are realized, okay, that is the meaning. Chaitanya Rasa Vigra. Rasa Vigra means he is the emblem of all different Rasas, like 12 Rasas, you know. Uh, there is uh, Shantya Ras, there is Dasya Ras, there is Sakya Ras, there is Madhurya Ras, then so many Rasas are Vibhatsya Ras is there, Virya Ras is there, okay. Uh, five, five primary rasas and seven secondary rasas are there. Krishna's name is complete. Purna Shuddho Nitya Mukto. Purna means complete. Okay? And it is full of all transcendental mellows. Rasa Vigraha means transcendental mellows. Rasa means mellow basically. Like you are talking to somebody. You are, rasa is basically pleasure. And Krishna's name is Rasa Raj. He is the bestower of all pleasures actually. Is the king of all pleasures and mellows. It is not a material name under any circumstance, and it is no less powerful than Krishna himself. Okay, 
So Krishna's name is as powerful as Krishna himself. Since Krishna's name is not contaminated by material qualities, there is no question of it being involved with Maya, which means illusion. Krishna's name is always liberated. Purna Shuddho Nitya Mukto, which means it is always above matter. Okay, matter cannot touch Krishna and his name. And spiritual. He is never conditioned by the laws of material nature. This is because the name of Krishna and Krishna himself are identical. Bhinnatva, Mama Mamino. Mama means with me. Okay. Bhinnatvam. Okay. This is. Uh, that that's the meaning of this word okay and this bhinnatvam can also have different connotations okay so but as of this verse this is what it means okay so therefore uh, if we want to be productive during the day then we should follow what bhishma dev is saying okay so in the morning we should uh, do spiritual practices we should chant mantras we should uh, read the Vishnu Sahasranam or we should read read bhagavad gita okay every morning we should read actually okay so let's read a random verse like every day. <laughs> this is uh, 4.42. Therefore, uh, the doubts which have arisen in your heart out of ignorance should be slashed by the weapon of knowledge. Armed with yoga, O Bharata, stand and fight. Krishna is telling this to Arjuna. To Arjuna okay. So therefore, uh, when you read the Bhagavad Gita, then you will actually have clarity of thought then even in your material life you will be able to be very clear okay and you'll be able to be very productive and you should always chant certain mantras you can uh, like uh, in my channel i had made a video once you know three prominent mantras which everybody should chant every day so for the first mantra was om namo bhagavate vasudevaya this this gives you mental peace then uh, you have om namo narayanaya Okay. this will cleanse you of all of your fears and anxieties actually and then we have the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, which is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This, this will uh, get you rid of all of your weaknesses and give you spiritual elevation. So you can include these three mantras every day morning and you can do these mantras for two, two rounds every day. So two into 108 times of all these three. So six rounds. Okay, that will take you around half an hour to 45 minutes. Just do this for seven days and then write it below in the comments. Okay, you will... You will be blown off by this. You will see your productivity, your efficiency, your uh, thought process, your clarity. Everything will skyrocket. You will be three times more productive. This is my word. You take it. You will, you will be able to do so many things uh, which people will wonder how can a normal human being do all these things okay, in quality and quantity. So if you want to do superhuman activities, I mean within your human limit, <laughs> not that you will lift some mountain like uh, Hanumanji had lifted or Krishna had lifted, but uh, within your range, according to your intelligence and according to your karma okay, and your capacities, basically, that's what karma is. You will become like a superhuman, okay? human, man or woman, whoever you are, doesn't matter. Whichever age you are, doesn't matter. If you are 15 and listening, then just do it. Just include these three mantras, two rounds each, every day in the morning. Okay, And then you will see your life transforms totally. And the remaining 15-20 minutes, you read the Bhagavad Gita every day. Okay, Or you read the Vishnu Sasanam. You will see just one hour you do in this day. Morning, you just do this one thing and your life will rapidly change. It's like... You will not be able to believe yourself that you you will you will lament actually that why did I not do this before? Because whenever I do consultations, I suggest so many mantras to uh, my clients, and then uh, they message me after two months, three months. You know their life has changed, and uh, within three to six months, okay. But if you do these two two rounds, uh, then you will see results within one week, okay, one to two weeks, fifteen days deadline. I am giving you. So within 15 days, you will see results. Okay, Your mind is very sharp. You are very positive. You are more thoughtful. You are more aware. You are more conscious. You are more productive. You are more sharp. You are more intelligent. You are more knowledgeable, basically. And you can grasp and give knowledge Okay, if you do this. All right? So therefore, let us follow what Bhishma Dev says. And uh, there are many things which we can discuss. Reciting prayers. You can also recite the Brahma Samhita. Okay? 
and you can Vishnu Sahasram is also a prayer or there are different stutis you know you can recite different stutis from Shrutis and uh, Smritis okay so you can do so many things there are so many things actually it's like uh, the universe is unlimited and so are Lord Vishnu and his glories okay all right thank you very much for your patience and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to be super productive during the day and not waste much time and if you want a consultation from me you can always go to my website down in the description section all right what is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you want to watch other videos on Srimad Bhagavatam or Gita I'll put it here okay thank you very much and if you're new then please subscribe to the channel